Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install PostgreSQL on a Windows machine. And honestly, the installation is probably very similar for Mac and Linux. I haven't done it on them recently. Actually, with, with Mac back in the day and with Linux, I would just install them from the command line or from the terminal. Um, but for Windows, I need to get it set up for some future tutorials that I plan on doing. So I figured what the heck, I'll just record the process and show you how I do it. So the website is postgresql.org. If that's how you pronounce it, maybe it's postgre, postgre, postgre SQL. And then there's a link front and center for download. And you'll want the one for Windows. They have an installer. They also have a zip archive uh, of the binaries. That's a little more advanced, not something we're gonna do in this video. Download the installer, and then for me, I have a 64-bit version of Windows, so you'll want the x86-64. Click on download. It will download it for you, and then once it's downloaded, you'll go ahead and run it and begin the installation. So I already have it starting here. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel the download. First things first, this is basic installation. Just next, tell it where you want it to install. Default folder is fine for me. And then here's the different components. They have command line tools, the stack builder, pgadmin4, and PostgreSQL server. And honestly, I, I don't know what stack builder is, but I assume it may be important. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there for now and just do all the default stuff they've got going on here. So next, again, data directory, I'm just gonna leave it default value. All right, so you want to provide a password for the database super user. The super user's name is Postgres, like they have here. And so I will put a super secret password in here. And then click next. And then the default port, 5432, that's what they have in there automatically, so I'm going to leave that as well. Uh, the default locale is fine with me I'm just gonna leave it for whatever it is if you have a specific language that you need go ahead and scroll down and find it so I'll leave that and click next all right it tells you the following settings will be used for the installation it gives you everything that you just told it basically so I'll go ahead and click next and next and let it install All right, so it's done. It took about four minutes, maybe a little bit less. And let's see here. What does it say? Stack Builder may be used to download and install additional tools, drivers, and applications to complement your PostgreSQL installation. Uh, I guess that's fine. Launch Stack Builder, sure. All right, so the wizard will help you install additional software to complement your installation so we select this I may not do any of these I'm just gonna see what they offer all right so just looking at this stuff I don't know that any of it is necessary right now so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it all right, so before we end the video, let's go ahead and make sure that Postgres is installed on the computer properly. So over on your Windows icon, you'll go down through your programs all the way to Postgres SQL 13. And then they've got everything that we installed. Uh, the one program that we're gonna wanna look at right now is this SQL shell for PSQL. So go ahead and click on that. And it's worth testing if it works in your other terminal terminals as well. So psql. So it's not in the path right now for git bash. We'll do that in a different tutorial. And then let me just open up the command prompt and okay, it's also not recognized here. So that's fine. I can address that in a later term in a later tutorial. Right now you'll want to open up the SQL shell psql. So you can find that going through your start menu or down here in the search, you can just type in SQL shell and it pops up right there. Just make sure you click on the one that says psql, just in the event that you have a different one that's not Postgres. So when you click on that, it'll open up just like this. And the first thing it's gonna have here is the server. And then it shows you in brackets that the default value for the server is localhost. So you just press enter. 
and then there's database and it's defaulted to Postgres. Again, enter the port, enter, username, enter. It'll bring you to the password prompt. Just go ahead and enter that password that you created during the installation. It's not gonna show it while you're typing, but it is there. Press enter again. And if it's the correct username and password, then it's going to let you into Postgres, which is where we are now. I'm gonna show you some commands in future videos for how to use Postgres, for how to uh, create databases, list your databases, things like that. But the only command that you need to know right now is how to get out of here. And that is the backslash lowercase q for quit. Press enter. It'll ask you to press any key to continue. Press enter again, and it closes out the shell. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a little something, and we'll catch you in the next one.